Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. This time we're going to talk about stoichiometry, reactions involving limiting reactant. Let us have an analogy. We have egg plus loaf equals sandwich. Suppose you want to make 10 sandwiches but you only have 10 loaves and 8 eggs. The question now is can you still make 10 sandwiches? You notice that if we have 8 eggs, we also need 8 loops to make 8 sandwiches, leaving us 2 loops. But if we have 10 loops, we need 10 eggs to make 10 sandwiches. But we are short of 2 eggs. We can only make 8 sandwiches. Here, our number of sandwiches is determined by the number of eggs we have. Hence, we can say that the number of eggs is our limiting and the number of loops is our excess. Limiting reactants are those reactants that determine the amount of products produced. A good way to keep track of the quantities in a limiting reactant problem is with the reaction table. The balance equation appears at the top for the column heads. The table shows the Number 1. Initial quantities of reactants and products before the reaction. Number 2. Change in the quantities of reactants and products during the reaction. Number 3. Final quantities of reactants and products remaining after the reaction. For example, the sandwich making. The table shows the following important points. Number 1. In the initial line, product has not yet formed. So the entry is zero sandwich. Number two in the change line, since the reactants, eggs and lubes are used during the reaction, their quantities decrease. So the changes in their quantities have a negative sign. At the same time, the quantity of product, sandwiches, increases. So the change in its quantity has a positive sign. Number three for the final, we add the initial and change lines. Notice that one reactant loops is in excess while the limiting reactant eggs is used up let us try by solving problem nuclear engineers use chlorine trifluoride to prepare uranium fuel for power plants the compound is formed as a gas by reaction of elemental chlorine and fluorine in preparation of chlorine trifluoride 0 0.750 mole of chlorine reacts with 3 mole of fluorine. So A. Find the limiting reactant and B. Write the reaction table. So we need to write the balance equation first. We find the limiting reactant by calculating the amount mole of chlorine trifluoride formed from the amount mole of each reactant. The reactant that forms fewer moles of chlorine trifluoride is the limiting. So, finding amount mole of chlorine trifluoride from amount mole of chlorine. And now, finding amount mole of chlorine trifluoride from amount mole of fluorine. Hence, chlorine is the limiting reactant because it forms fewer moles of chlorine trifluoride. Now writing the reaction table with chlorine as limiting reactant. For 0 0.750 mole of chlorine, we need to find the mole of fluorine reacted. So to sum up, there is no chlorine left. There is only 0.75 mole of fluorine left, and there is 1.50 mole of chlorine trifluoride formed in the reaction. A major point to note that the relative quantities of reactants do not determine which is the limiting, but rather the quantity of product formed, which is based on the molar ratio in the balance equation. So that's it. That is all for now. I hope you learned something today. Once again, this is Easy Engineering. <music>